This has been a tough few weeks for me, but I am a very, very lucky man. I have a beautiful, healthy family that I love and that loves me very much. I'm going to be just fine. I'd just like to end with, with one last thing. I did not grow up wanting to be a politician. I came to this relatively late in life. I had to learn a lot on the fly. It wasn't easy and it wasn't always fun. And I'm not just talking about today. This is a hard thing to do with your life. There are a lot of long hours and late nights and hard lessons. And there is no guarantee that all your work and sacrifice will ever pay off. I won my first election by 312 votes. Could have easily gone the other way. And even when you win, progress is far from inevitable. Paul Wellstone spent his whole life working for mental health parity, and it didn't pass until six years after Paul died. This year, a lot of people who didn't grow up imagining that they'd ever get involved in politics have done just that. They've gone to their first protest march or made their first call to a member of Congress or maybe even taken the leap and put their names on a ballot for the first time. It can be such a rush to look around a room of full of people ready to fight alongside you, to feel that energy, to imagine that better things are possible. But you too will experience setbacks and defeats and disappointments. There will be days when you will wonder whether it's worth it. What I want you to know is that even today, even on the worst day of my political life, I feel like it's all been worth it. Politics, Paul Wellstone told us, is about the improvement of people's lives. I know that the work I've been able to do has improved people's lives. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. For a decade now, every time I would get tired or discouraged or frustrated, I would think about the people I was doing this for and would get me back up on my feet. I know the same will be true for everyone who decides to pursue a politics that is about improving people's lives. And I hope you know that I will be fighting alongside you every step of the way. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.